Welcome to Postcolonial Space. I'm Masood Raja. And today I'll briefly talk about some of the responses that I got on my video about a possibility of peace between Palestine and Israel. I got quite a lot of supporting comments, but of course there were quite a few criticisms as well. And I think those criticisms, though valid, are slightly misguided because they assumed that I'm not aware of the history of Israel-Palestine and they assumed that I was intentionally not taking sides. My point in that video was that in order for a lasting peace to be accomplished, both sides will have to think anew about the two-state solution. That's not my idea. Arafat went to Oslo to negotiate peace, to negotiate a two-state solution. Now, there is no denying the fact that Israel is a settler state. People came in, took over the land of Palestinians, and I mentioned that 4,000 400 Palestinian villages were literally obliterated. All of these are recorded facts of history. None of it is not unknown to me. My idea was that both sides had grievances against each other. Palestinians see Israelis as an occupying force. They see Israel as a country that literally took over their land. Israelis on the other side point to their historical claim to the same land. But if both sides just stick to those narratives and those stories, no peace is possible. One criticism was that I am denying the right to resistance against occupation. No, I'm not denying the right to resistance against occupation, but when resistance just becomes a fetish with no possible end, then what kind of resistance is it? Hamas, for example, thrives on this idea of a resistant movement, but what have they accomplished? other than dividing the Palestinian nation in two parts with irreconcilable differences. There is the West Bank and Gaza. Because of Hamas's policies and actions, both sides are not talking to each other. And who does that suit? The Israelis to keep the Palestinians divided. Another criticism was that I had not given a full account of what was done by Israelis as the State of Israel was established. The purpose of the video was not to teach history. That history is obvious. If you look at the references below the, those videos, there is Edward Said's question of Palestine, even President Carter's Peace Not Apartheid, and Galvin's History of Israeli-Palestinian Conflict. The purpose of my video was to think through all that, the grievances, the current war in which first Hamas killed civilians and now Israelis are killing women and children through their bombing campaign. The purpose of my video was that we can either keep fighting over the past or keep claiming who has committed more atrocities or work toward a peaceful two-state solution. Two-state solution which was proposed and agreed to in Oslo, right? Everyone goes back to 1967 borders. Palestinians have Gaza and the West Bank with the land need, right? That was what pro was proposed. The reason Arafat didn't agree to it was because Israel still wanted to maintain their military posts in the Palestinian territories. And there was no land link between Gaza and, and the West Bank. And the issue of right to return needed to be decided. 
So what's at stake? At stake is a future Palestinian state and the right of return of all those Palestinians who were ousted from their lands, which now form part of state of Israel. Another thing at stake or that needs to stop, of course, is the settlement activity, the illegal settlements built by the settlers, right? The most conservative part of the Israeli politics. So what I just wanted to say was that I am aware of all these things. I am not naive. And I am aware of the history of creation of Israel and ouster of Palestinians, the right of return, and the atrocities committed by both sides and people being killed right now by Israeli defense forces. There is no moral justification for those. But what I was trying to articulate and think maybe was how the two people can concede on certain things by Palestinians acknowledging the Israeli right to exist and Israelis acknowledging that Palestinians need an autonomous and free country of their own. And this is not rocket science. They had agreed to it in Oslo. So not to belabor the point, but I just wanted to highlight that, yes, your criticisms are right because my video was not exhaustive enough to take into account the whole history. But I was presupposing that most people are aware of it, right? And two, the purpose of the video was to think about peace and future and not necessarily worry, worry about who is a resistor and who is an occupier, because those are facts on the ground. We have to work beyond them. So that was briefly my point, as I stated in that video, and as I've always stated in my work, I am not in support of any kind of violent uprisings that kill innocent people. I will never support a movement that takes hostages and kills women and children. That's why I will never support Israeli actions right now in Gaza, and I will never support Hamas or anyone else's actions if they target civilians and all. And that's a moral stance that I take and no resistance narrative or anything else is going to move me away from that belief system. But overall, thank you so much for watching that video. But keep in mind that the purpose of that video is to see if the current situation can be stopped, the bombings, the killing of civilians, and then can the international community come together and get involved seriously to create a situation in, in which Palestinians can have their own autonomous nation state? And I know it's a statist solution to a problem. It's a nationalistic solution to a problem. But under the circumstances, that is a necessary first step. In my philosophy, I'm a post-nationalist, right? But if we are going to work towards peace, the beginning point of it would be serious engagement with a two-state solution. I know Saeed, towards the end of his life, had become skeptical of that. He thought it as a failure of imagination. But I think it would be the more pragmatic solution or beginning of, of solving this conflict and this state of conflict. So that's all I wanted to add. I hope this helps you understand my point of view. But if you have differing points of view, that's okay too. I mean, that's part of life, part of who we are as scholars and, you know, as general human beings living in this world. Thank you so much. I will now be back with something else. and. In the meanwhile, stay safe, take care of each other, and peace and love.